So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video on Test Prep Card channel. Hope you're doing great and staying safe. Well, what we'll discuss in today's video. In today's video, we will discuss about G offline versus online test, which is better. Now, there are many students who are in chaos. Whether I should give online test, whether I should give offline test. Oh, in the offline test, I can score better. In the online test, I cannot score better. Well, there are many myths about this. We'll discuss about all those things in this video. Just a small request. Please don't put your phone down. Keep watching this video till the end because this video will really help you to clear your mindset. Right? Let's start. Well, what are the topics that we'll discuss in today's video? Let me just brief you about that and then we'll jump on to this video. In today's video, we'll start with discussing about the pros and cons of online and offline exam. Yes, we'll discuss about the first thing, pros and cons. Then we'll move on and discuss about the student response, which is you, your response in terms of online and offline exam, the number of students that particularly we'll be talking about. And finally, we'll discuss what can be the best option. And again, after this point of time, you still have any doubts, any queries, you know what you have to do. Well, write that question in the comment section below. Let's start this video. So online, let's start with discussing about the offline first because we are Indians, right? And we believe in offline because we have always been taught about offline things only, right? So in the offline examination, first discuss about the advantages. What are the major advantages of offline? Well, you are habitual. I'm also habitual, right? Of giving the mode of this examination. Right. And when it normally comes to giving examination, we think about offline only because in the offline, like by the time when we touch pen, by the time when we touch paper, you know, we become 100 percent active. This has been seen in many students. So therefore, many students prefer offline examination. This is a fact. And for this, the main thing is that in the offline examination, you're not supposed to solve any mock test, online mock test, right, which is going to kill time. Just read it through the book, practice as more as you can and you are prepared for the offline examination. This is the major benefit of offline examination. But there are disadvantages also. Like any coin, if you take any coin, there are head and tail. So for the offline, there are of course some advantages, but there are disadvantages. Now I will just want to tell you one thing in here. Like suppose if you are thinking of anything, right? Suppose if you are taking a decision at one point, definitely this will come in your life when you have to take decision. Then you will evaluate the advantages, the positive side of the decision, and you will evaluate the negative side of that decision, right? Positive and negative. Now, if this is balanced, then your decision is perfect. If this is more towards negative side or disadvantaged side, then you will take negative decision. And if this is toward positive, then you will take positive decision. Well, in the offline, if you see the number of disadvantages are more, I'll tell you. See, the first one is offline examination required large administration and operational setup. Well, this is not your ball game, but this is about the administration cost. This increases the administration cost. There will be two or three examination examiner in single room, right? Who will be watching you all the time that are you copying or not? So this increases the costs and this increases the time. This increases the money out of it. Then the second one is arrangement of papers, question papers and answer that that's that's of course, that's a costly thing, right? Arrangement, setup that requires time and that requires money. The third one is chances of cheating or use of unfair means is very higher in the offline. And there are many students who have been caught in this case. They have been debarred from it, right? So the chances of cheating is higher. Now there are two categories of students. One is very genuine like you or me. And the other one is like, you know, I just want to copy that person's answer and pass the examination. Well, you do not do anything. Well, that guy will definitely, you know, peep in through your answers like in this way. Oh, see. And by the time with the examination, watch it. You're gone, boss, right? So the chances is, you know, very high of cheating in this offline examination. Well, take much time in checking the answer in terms of like checking this text more time. And that is the reason the result is declared little later because of this thing only. And the great thing, the great thing, which which is not good for you or if you are at that point or if you receive the leaked question paper, right, then you hit the examination. Well, this is not happens often, but there are chances of leaking the question paper. In CBSE, this has been seen many times, right? So this is the disadvantage, disadvantages, right? You saw five disadvantages and you saw two advantages. So now you take a call. Well, I'll just give you about the online test also. Now, before I move forward and discuss the other aspects, let me announce a very important part here. Now, this is for the NRIs. 
So for the NRIs, we have prepared an NRI book that is related to DASA and CIWG. You can download it from the link in the description below. We have a compiled set of NRI books that will really, really help these guys to prepare well in the examination. Not only the examination, but also to hit and define strategies for the final D-Day, right? That's a great thing. Well, now let's discuss about the online examination. We discussed offline. Now let's move in and discuss about the online examination. Let's start with discussing the advantages. So in the advantages, let's start with discussing about the first thing, which is the duration. Typically what happens is that initially the offline examination is conducted and post that after a week or so, the online examination is conducted. So you will get one or two weeks more to, you know, prepare for the examination, which is a, a just like a life saving thing because in during time the preparation, every single hours matter, right? So if you get seven days, you know, extension, you will prepare definitely better. Also, you can check the answer of questions in online mode because you will have your, you know, response seat. And out of this, you can definitely, you know, check which of the options is my correct or how much, what is my, what will be my raw score, right? You will have a fair idea about this thing. So you will predict your result in short. Also, there is a great option of reviewing because once you, you know, give this online examination, maybe you are aware of this online thing or you have given the examination or mock examination sort of thing, then there is an option called review, right? mark this for review or you tap but you go back quickly that's a great thing you just forward or go back or just put the question into review or even there is an option of pdf viewer right you just click on the right side the entire question paper will come in one go out of this you just figure out which one you're going to attempt directly jump to the question number and give the examination so this is going to save time in what means like suppose in a single question in the omr suite which we are doing in the offline that requires to you know fill the exam that box with time that takes time for let's say a single question that takes two to three seconds so that two to three seconds if you save and if you just count it for 30 questions two times 30 will give you one minute one extra minute so you can attempt one more question right so out of the time perspective online is a good option right so that's a great thing no need to fill the circle just click it and you're done well, in terms of setup, if you talk about, this is feasible. In terms of operational cost, this is low. In terms of cheating, there is no chance of cheating. Otherwise, you will be, you know, just directly debarred from the examination. Cost effective in terms of, you know, cost and administrative cost and operational cost. Also, this is sustainable because there is no paper wastage as such and no chances of question leak. So this is a good option. Well, this is about the advantages. Now, let me tell you about the disadvantages because every coin has head and tell every coin has positive and negative aspects. Well, if we talk about for the disadvantages of this examination, which is online examination, then if you have not practiced well, right? If not practiced well for this online thing, then you are not equipped of this thing. And this has happened with me when I was giving CAT examination. Yes, I was just preparing for the examination through book mode. And when I just hit the CAT, that was completely online. I was, you know, so intense. There's one thing that once you get into tense, that your productivity will definitely decrease, right? So that happens with many students. So this requires a proper mock training. So for this, if you start preparing for the examination, then this is very healthy option that you give one or two mock on daily or two day basis so that you will be equipped with that mode because that mode is completely new. Now, this is the, you know, future. This is the future, not only for the JE, but for the other examinations too. Maybe you do your BTEC and after that you prepare for any other government examination, then there is online mode which is following. Right. So be equipped with this online mode thing. Also in the rough seat, right, they provide one or two A4 size paper. So you do it quickly, right? You many a time student, you know, don't write the question number and there is only two sets that they, they will give you. So suppose if you have practice for mathematics and then you are moving or switch into physics. So you will find the answers at right? where I have written, where is that formula? You will be, you know, in a very tense situation. That is that has happened with many students, right? So that rough shit flickering will take time and you will be intense. So this is one disadvantage. The third, which is does not of happens often, which is the failure or light cut or power cut or internet loss, because normally this is organized or happens in a setup, which is, you know, have a backup option, no electricity loss, no power loss, no internet loss. So, the, this you cannot take it as disadvantage. So basically two disadvantages as such. The first one, which is you need to equip with this online mode. And the second one, there is a rough sheet thing. So for that, you need to prepare well for it, right? 
So this is about the online disadvantages. Now you take a call in the online, which side is greater? Is it on? Is it, is it advantages side or is it disadvantages side? Well, now let's move on and discuss about the student response, which is you guys, you response. So it has been seen in the year 2016, where this JE things first came into picture as an online mode in the market, out of which 1,72,069 students appeared in the online mode. And you see the number in the offline, this being 10,22,869. It's just like, you know, times 10 multiplication, nine or 10 times multiplication. In the year 2017, this is 1,83,673. This is the online mode. And again, 10 lakh around in the offline mode. In the 2018, this is 2,37,000 around, 2,40,000, let's take it as a rough figure. These students appeared for the online mode and in the offline, this is 8,97,000, let's take as 9 lakh. So still, students believe and still students are in a situation that they give offline mode. Well, I just want to clear this mindset in here that in the offline or in the online there is no you know like that thing that you feel that in the offline i'll score more or there is competition among less number of students this is not like that you will have fair number of competition which includes the average or the total of these guys online and offline but many students prefer offline because this is just the examination after class 12th just the examination after the class 12 because in our system it has been defined that we do offline studies school right we have book Adi Sharma, KC Sina, we have HCV, right? So we prepare by hand and until unless we prepare by hand, then, then only we feel satisfied that yes, we have prepared for the examination. So that's why many students appeared for this offline examination, which does not mean that you should not appear for the online examination. Online examination has its own advantages. Well, I'm not asking you to directly give the online examination, but what you can do at this point of time is that you give some mock analyze your score you give some mock in the offline analyze your score and see on which you are performing better right don't take it as an option of online completely or don't take it as an option of offline completely decide by you right you take this thing check on you because this is subjective that depends from student to student now let me tell you which is the best option what you can do at this point of time so i'll first leave this option to you only as i just told so this is depending upon student, this is subjective in nature. The second one, you choose any mode, either you choose online mode, either you choose offline mode. The one thing which is required in this particular type of examination is practice, which is mock, right? Don't prepare just like reading books and writing in the notes, prepare and give examination, prepare, give mock. And after, after above all, you know, analyze those mocks that is the basic necessity then only you will score higher in the examination there are many students you know that they do not analyze their mock they do not analyze their examination paper so there they are having you know loss so don't do that please don't do that and choose the mode which is more comfortable for you if you guys are comfortable in offline then go for offline if you guys are comfortable in online then definitely go for online now, it doesn't matter whether this is online or offline, as I just told, this completely depends upon clearing the examination. In that three hours, you need to clear the paper, that's it. At least clear the cutoff so that you get a call. And do not believe in this myth that you score higher in offline or you will score low in online. This is no, uh, I mean, myth as such, right? So don't believe in that myth. So this is about this online and offline thing. I hope this clear your mind. I hope you come to a final conclusion that what you will give either online or offline. Just comment down in the section below that which one you prefer online or offline. So this is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Again, keep practicing, stay motivated. I see you in the coming videos. Thank you.